All right, the first example I want to go over is the linear search algorithm. So uh, we're, the size of our input is n. So what we want to do is try to figure out what is the, um, like how many, how many operations are we going to have on this, um, uh, in this algorithm, uh, worst case scenario, um, as a function of n, where n is the, the number of elements in the list. Well, uh, let's see. I'm going to go through and I'm going to be counting uh, assignments and comparisons and additions, which are the types of things we have in here. So first of all, we have a, an assignment right at the beginning. So we have one, uh, we have one operation right there. So that's an assignment. Then we have this while loop. Now the while loop is gonna is gonna run un uh, until one of these two things is false. Either i is not equal to n, or sorry, either i is greater than n, or x does equal a i. Okay, so every time the while loop runs, right here we're gonna have a loop. Every time this while loop runs, runs, <laughs> uh, we're gonna have um, some number of operations which are computed. So we're gonna have two comparisons, one, two comparisons. We're gonna have an addition, uh, i plus one will be an addition that's performed, and then that will be assigned to the value i. So an addition and an assignment right there. So that's one, two, three, four things. So uh, this is going to be four operations per loop, okay? And the question is, how many times is that going to is that loop going to be computed? Well, worst case scenario, you're going to search all the way through the entire list until you get to the end of the list, right? So um, uh, if you never find the element you're searching for, you're going to get all the way to the end of the list, and that's going to be you're going to run through that loop n times, right? And then you're going to do a last uh, search, and you're going to do a last check, and you're going to stop because it's going to be false. So this is going to be four times per loop. We're going to say that that loop runs n times, so that gives us 4n. Four times per loop is going to be 4n operations. Okay. Then after the loop ends, then you have uh, an if. So you have a comparison here, if i is less than or equal to n. Now that if is going to then spawn one of two statements. You're either going to do the then or the else. And each of these includes one assignment. So either you're going to do less than or equal to and then this assignment, or less than or equal to and then this assignment. So that's not three. That right there, that little section with the if, then, else, that is just going to be two. Two operations, right? You have one situation or the other. If you really get to the end and you never found the, you never found the element, then that's going to be the, uh, the second one. The else location is assigned to zero. And then we have a return. So I'm not going to count the return. So um, this all ends up being um, 4n plus 3, okay, and that is our f of n. f of n is 4n plus 3 for that, for, that, um, for that algorithm. So that's the function that actually counts the number of uh, constant time operations. But this is big O of n, okay? And when we're measuring algorithmic complexity, we tend to care a little less about the actual function which is why we don't care that much about constants. Like, that's why I don't care that much about counting the return. If I count the return, this would be a plus four. But I don't really care that much about those small, those, those small aspects of the, um, of, the, uh, of, of the function because really what we're cared about, what we care more about is what order, what order uh, is, is, is the function. And in this case, it's big O of n, right? I don't even care that much about how many of these things I'm counting, right? If I don't count the while, uh, the comparisons involved in checking the while loop, if I, even if I just count the addition involved right here and this assignment statement, uh, even if I just count the addition, this would be a 1n instead of a 4n, it would still be big O of n. So when you are analyzing time complexity, uh, you can get as detailed as you want with, um, with like what types of constant time operations you're going to check, uh, but the real main focus is generally on what is the order of that complexity. And in this case, it's big O of n. So we would call the linear search big O of n. And one of the reasons it's called linear search is because it is a linear time complexity. Okay, it completes in linear time, uh, which, is, uh, which is what this means. So there's our first example.